Okay, so next example natin is papakita natin kung paano nag uh, poproduce ng starvation si first come first serve. Okay? So I think isa sa downside ni first come first serve. So ibig sabihin ni starvation, merong mga given or merong mga time na hindi siya ganoon ka-efficient in what way? Pag uh, yung isang process na nauna is eh, sobrang laki ng burst time, ibig sabihin sobrang tagal i-process magre-reflect yon dun sa mga ibang process na nag -iintay. So, magiging implication nun, tataas ngayon yung turnaround time at tataas yung waiting time ng mga process. So, ibig sabihin, mas matagal nag -iintay. Okay? So, check natin dito sa example para mas makita natin. Okay? So, we have dito three processes na ipaprocess si uh, CPU and then yung given natin, pare-paro sila ng arrival time, magkakasabay sila dumating lahat And then, ito yung mga burst time. So, compute natin. Okay. So, again, nag-start tayo ng time zero. Kung makikita natin dito, pare-pareho sila lahat ng uh, arrival time. Sabay-sabay sila dumating. So, pag ganito yung case, para ma-break mo yung tie, dahil first come, first serve tayo, arrival time yung tinitingnan, ang pang-break mo ng tie ay process ID. Okay. So, kung ano yung pinakamababang process ID, so yun yung una. So, ibig sabihin, ang una natin ay si P1. Okay. Sulat natin dito, P1. And then, tingnan nyo yung burst time niya. Ang laki. So, 50 yung burst time. So, 50 yung burst time niya. So, pag pre-nasses natin ito within the CPU, yung gun chart natin, mag -e end siya ng time 50. So, ano implication ito? Dahil magkakasabay sila dumating, ni P2 at P3, kailangan niya mag-intay ng 50 bago makapasok yung dalawa. E yung dalawa, ma mababa lang yung burst time nila. But, uh, using this algorithm, yun yung implication sa kanila. Okay? So, at time 50, tapos na si P1, next na mas mababang process ID kasi tayo sila ng arrival time is P2. So, yun yung next natin na ipaprocess. Ayan. Okay? So, P2 yung next. And then, check mo yung burst time. So, mag end to at time 53. Okay? So, at time 53, tapos na si P2. Lastly, na nag P3 na lang. So, yung si P3. This will end at time 55. Okay? So, check natin kung anong implication. So, this will be end time. This will be turnaround. And this will be waiting time. So, end time ni P1 ay 50. End time ni P2, 53. And end time ni P3 ay 55. Okay. So, compute natin. So, this will be 50. So, end time minus arrival. So, we have 50, 53, and 55. Next one, turnaround minus burst time. So, we have here 0. So, And then we have here 50. And then we have here uh, 53. Okay? So, turn around minus burst time. So, compute natin ngayon yung CPU utilization. Yeah. So, yung CPU utilization natin. So, sum nito. So, this will be 55 over total end time. So, ito yon. Dulo ng gun chart times 100 so this will be 100% utilization okay so compute natin ngayon yung average turnaround time and average waiting time nila para makita natin ngayon yung uh, naging downside nung first come first serve okay so for the average turnaround time yan so sum nito over 3 lang kasi tatlo yung process so check natin Ayan. So, yung sum nito will be 158. Ayan. So, over 3 kasi tatlo lang yung process. So, yung nakuha nating answer is 52.67. So, niround off na lang natin. So, next, average waiting time naman. So, sum nito. So, this will be... Ayan. So, this will be... Uh, 103, so yan, over 3, so we have 
0.33. Okay? So, kung makikita natin dito, with starvation, ang laki ng nakuha mong average waiting time and average turnaround time. Kasi, sobrang tagal nag-intay ng mga process 2 at 3 kahit sabay-sabay silang dumating. Okay? So, yun yung implication or yun yung nangyayari once we have use first come first serve and nakapag-cause ng starvation. Yung turnaround time mo at yung waiting time mo, masyado niyang pinapataas. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mas less efficient yung CPU natin.